Hey, it's Vlog Saturday. Um, just thought I'd get on here and talk a little bit about something that's kind of bothering me. Um, in the Battle of the Bulge. So I asked for some help from friends and from family members. And, um... The big culprit for me was not to spend money, not to get a gym membership, not to get a nutritionist, to do everything by not spending money. Because the only thing that you, you know, really need to spend money on is what's in the kitchen. Because the Battle of the Bulge is done with the, um, it's done in the kitchen. You know, you make your abs with every meal. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I asked a couple of people. And a few did offer their family, you know, you can come be a guest. Um, but when I did ask another family member, they're like, oh, you need to go to a nutritionist. You need to go on a set um, on the... Uh, we Groovy and uh, other popular diabetic medication that's being misused as weight loss medication. Um, but no mention of like, hey, you know, I've got an extra gallon jug liter thing that you can drink from. Or let's go for a walk. Or... Um, you know, I've got, uh, I've got extra pair of weights at home or something. Um, because the whole point of fighting this bulge and trying to get, you know, trying to lose weight, especially now that I've got a, a real goal in mind, I have to lose 60 pounds, I think, by next April. Because every time I look on the airlines... If you weigh more than 250 pounds on one... They do ask that you buy the seat next to you or that you pay extra for the seat extender. Um, so basically to fly on an airplane, I have to lose weight, which is, you know, not great motivation, but it definitely puts a few things in perspective. Um, so, but everyone, um, but most, like, out of the eight people I asked, six of them, two of them said no. Six of them uh, said, you know, join a gym or, you know, you can come to this weekly exercise class that I have or, um, like, a family member. It's like, oh, you need a nutritionist to reevaluate your relationship to food. Like, besides needing food? Hmm. Anyway. Um, it was really disappointing and frustrating in that fact that instead of, instead of saying, hey, let's go do this thing together, or, you know, sure, you know, let's walk, you know, let's plan on walking on the weekend or something like that, or, um... There's a volunteer event that we can go to, which today there is a volunteer event that everyone should go to. Um, <clears throat> they all they all said, you know, join a gym, which, you know, can cost money. And even if you do join a gym, you have to go to the gym. And so there's that aspect of it. Um, so instead of that, <clears throat> there is... Uh, a lot of great workouts like Fit by Mick, uh, Fitness Blender. Um, I think the Magnus Method has some stuff. There's there's everything from like ten minutes to you want to spend two hours exercising. You can do two hours exercising. There could be um, a lot of things that uh, will help you. Um, understand food. Um, the Institute of Human and Anatomy will show you what the stomach looks like and what a stomach staple looks like and so forth. Um, the dog will bark. 
Um, and then, of course, you know, there's just being sensible and, and documenting what you're eating, what you're, when you're eating, and so forth. Like yesterday, I had a full day of me meals. I think I ate something like 5,000 calories. And you're thinking, my gosh, how could you eat that 5,000 calories? Well, it's really, really, really simple. And by the way, I drank water during the whole time. So the first thing I had was a... Um, a medium mocha extra hot um, with a spinach egg frittata from Pete's. And that's at like 8 a.m., 8.30. Then at um, 1 o'clock, I had a piece of fried chicken, um, some french fries, and a Coke. I think I might have had like two pieces of fried chicken maybe. I don't know. And um, a couple bites of potato salad, and I would say that's probably around a thousand calories. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I've had a thousand calories just with the mocha, the frittata, um, the piece of fried chicken, which by the way is really, really good. And I think it was a breast piece, about 25 fries, and um. A Coca-Cola, which is about 260 calories. So I'd, I'd say right there at one at 130, I've got a thousand calories. But there's one thing I've done before that one o'clock. I spent, I want to say, I'm gonna say 30 minutes walking, and I walked a, about two. Uh, um, I'm gonna say a mile and a half. So, um, and then, um, I think about three o'clock I had another piece of chicken, which was really good, and some fries. Um, I want to say, I think it was a leg, I think I had, or maybe it was a wing, I don't know. But, <clears throat> so then that's, was like my afternoon snack. And so I'm going to put 500 calories on that. So now we're up to 1,500 calories. And um, that's actually pretty good. Then at 6.30, I eat the rest of the french fries and the um, two pieces of chicken. Or, yeah. And I think it was like the thigh and the wing. And, um, I actually have water with that, so I'm going to put another thousand calories with that, just because the french fries are probably really bad for you. Um, so that's 2,500 calories. How did I get to 5,000? Well, it just seemed like I ate a lot, maybe. Um, oh no, I, I remember. Um, and then, so I don't leave until... I think seven o'clock and I grab a lift about eight o'clock and I go to the grocery store and so um, at the grocery store what did I pick up oh I picked up the oranges I picked up like two bags of mandarin oranges toilet paper and um, a six pack of um, Coke, which was about, I had one bottle of that, and I think it's about 400 calories. And then the oranges and, oh, I had a chocolate bar. So that was my dessert. And that was about nine o'clock at night. And I think that was like, I think I figured it's another thousand calories just because the chocolate bar, I think, maybe have been 380, and, like, I had four oranges or mandarins, which are about 80 calories each. So that's a 1,000 there with the Coke. And so that's where I think I had, like, 5,000 calories. But I also walked, amazingly enough. Um... I, I did my, like, little fit check, and I did something like 
uh, 8,000 steps and I got like f five miles of walking in and I did some exercising and so forth. And I did some exercising this morning too. But, um, so it's not my relationship with food. It's just making sure I eat the right food. But none of the people that I asked, asked if I, you know, had a bad relationship with food or needed a gym or thing they they all want to pay money for stuff and it's expensive to do that because if you think about how much money I spent I spent um ten dollars in the morning I got the food delivered so it's a little bit different pricing but I'm gonna go ahead and say that's about forty dollars for that four pieces of chicken and french fries potato salad that I that's still at work actually um, and a Coke and then another Coke and some oranges. So I would say I spent probably close to $75 yesterday just on food. Um, I, I, I know that sounds strange, but I think it's because, um, the $35 and 10, that's 45. And then a about I'm yeah twenty dollars for the candy bar and the coke and the oranges eh, that's that's about right um, but that's the thing is that it's getting expensive to to do so okay this is the most hysterical thing um, one of the dogs always barks at the birds. Now the other dog is starting to bark at the birds. It's adorable. So this is me just vlogging about the weight battle and asking for help and kind of not getting it.